isang matagumpay na pagpapala muli sa inyo. Handa na ba kayo? Ako ang gurong makakasama nyo, Maestro Olaso. Sama-sama tayong matuto. Let us review your past lessons. Get ready to our work. Matanong. Matanong number one. How do we add similar fractions? In adding similar fractions, add only the numerators and copy the common denominator. Then, reduce the lowest term if possible. For example, 3 fifths plus 1 fifth. Step 1. If the given fractions are similar, just add the numerators 3 plus 1 equals 4 and copy the common denominator 5. We have 4 fifths. Step 2. Reduce the answer to lowest term if possible by checking if there is a greatest common factor or GCF that can be divided both the numerator and the denominator other than 1. Is 4 fifths already in lowest term? Yes. Therefore, 3 fifths plus 1 fifth equals 4 fifths. Mathanong number 2. How do we add dissimilar fractions? Let us follow again the step by step in adding dissimilar fractions. For example, 3 fifths plus 7 tenths. Step 1. Again, since the denominators of the fractions are not the same, we need to change them into similar fractions for we cannot add directly. Change fractions to similar fractions through getting the least common denominator or LCD of 5 and 10. Again, by using any method, the LCD of 5 and 10 is 10. In a simple way of finding the LCD, Think of a possible smallest number of dividend that can be divided by the given denominators. Step 2. Divide the LCD by the given denominators and multiply by the given numerators. 10 divided by 5 times 3 equals 6. 10 divided by 10 times 7 equals 7. Step 3. Since they are similar fractions, add the numerators 6 plus 7 equals 13. Copy the common denominator 10. We have 13 tenths. Step 4. Reduce the answer to lowest term if possible. Since the answer is an improper fraction, change it to mixed number by dividing numerator by the denominator. 13 divided by 10 equals 1, remainder 3. Write the quotient as the whole number 1 the remainder 3 as the numerator and the divisor as the denominator. Therefore, 13 tenths is equal to 1 and 3 tenths. Mathanong number 3. How do we add mixed fractions? Let us try it. Step 1. Since the denominators of the fractions are not the same, we need to change them into similar fractions for we cannot add directly. Change fractions to similar fractions through getting the least common denominator or LCD of 4 and 5. By using any method, the LCD of 4 and 5 is 20. Copy the whole numbers 2 and 5 and put the common denominator. Step 2. Divide the LCD by the given denominators and multiply by the given Numerators, 20 divided by 4 times 1 equals 5. 20 divided by 5 times 2 equals 8. Step 3. Since we are adding mixed numbers, add first whole numbers. 2 plus 5 equals 7. Then, add the numerators. 5 plus 8 equals 13. And copy the common denominator, 20. We have 7 and 13 twentieths. Step 4. Reduce the answer to lowest term if possible. Is 7 and 13 twentieths already in lowest term? Yes. 2 and 1 fourth. 
plus 5 and 2 fifths equals 7 and 13 twentieths. Get your pencil, piece of paper, and your sub learning module. Let's do Matalakay! Welcome to our lesson for the day, all about subtracting simple fractions and mixed numbers without and with regrouping. Suppose you have one whole pizza and you divide it into eight slices. You ate three slices. What part of the pizza was left? This is an example of subtracting similar fractions. One whole divided into eight equal parts. That is equivalent to eight eighths. Minus or take away three eighths equals five eighths. In subtracting similar fractions, subtract only the numerators and copy the common denominator. Reduce to lowest term if possible. Let us try another example. 5 and 3 fourths minus 2 and 1 third. Step 1. First, change it to similar fractions by getting their equivalent fractions through the least common denominator or LCD. Let us find the LCD of 4 and 3. Yes, 12 is the LCD of 4 and 3. Copy first the whole numbers 5 and 2. Step 2. Divide the LCD by the given denominators and multiply by the given numerators. 12 divided by 4 times 3 equals 9. 12 divided by 3 times 1 equals 4. Step 3. Since we are subtracting mixed numbers, subtract first the whole numbers 5 minus 2 equals 3. Next, subtract also the numerators. 9 minus 4 equals 5. Then, copy the common denominator, 12. We have 3n, 5 twelfths. Step 4. Reduce the answer to lowest term if possible. Is 3 and 5 twelfths already in lowest term? Yes. So, 5 and 3 fourths minus 2 and 1 third equals 3 and 5 twelfths. There are cases that the fractional parts cannot be subtracted. That is when a minuend is smaller than the subtrahend. If it happens, you can apply regrouping. Regrouping means you need to borrow one from a whole number to make the fraction of the minuend larger than the fraction of the subtrahend. Let's have this example. 4 and 1 fifth minus 2 and 3 fifths. Step 1. Borrow 1 from 4 and change to fraction 1, which is equal to 5 fifths. Then add 1 fifth. We have now 3 and 6 fifths minus 2 and 3 fifths. Step 2. Since the given fractions are similar, subtract now the whole numbers 3 minus 2 equals 1. Next, subtract the numerators 6 minus 3 equals 3. Then, copy the common denominator. Our answer is 1 and 3 fifths. Step 3. Reduce to lowest term if possible. Is 1 and 3 fifths already in lowest term? Definitely yes. So, 4 and 1 fifth minus 2 and 3 fifths equals 1 and 3 fifths. This time, I will introduce to you another method, the butterfly or cross multiplication method. But this can be used only if the given fractions composed of small digit number and two dissimilar fractions. For example, 3 fourths minus 1 third. Step 1. Multiply the denominators 4 times 3 equals 12. 12 is the common denominator. Step 2. Cross multiply the first numerator by the second denominator. 3 times 3 equals 9. Then, cross multiply also the first denominator by the second numerator. 4 times 1 equals 4. Step 3. Subtract the numerators 
9 minus 4 equals 5. And copy the common denominator, 12. So we have 5 twelfths. Is it already in lowest term? Yes. So 3 fourths minus 1 third equals 5 twelfths. Let's try mixed numbers. 5 and 4 fifths minus 2 and 1 half. Step 1. Multiply the denominators 5 times 2 equals 10. 10 is the common denominator. Copy the whole numbers 5 and 2. Step 2. Cross multiply the first numerator by the second denominator. 4 times 2 equals 8. Also, cross multiply the first denominator by the second numerator. 5 times 1 equals 5. Step 3. Subtract first the whole numbers. 5 minus 2 equals 3. Next, subtract the numerators. 8 minus 5 equals 3. And copy the common denominator, 10. We have 3 and 3 tenths. Is it already a lowest term? Yes. Therefore, our final answer is 3 and 3 tenths. Now, what if subtracting mixed numbers with regrouping? 8 and 1 third minus 5 and 1 half. Regrouping will be used when the fraction in minuend is smaller than the fraction in subtrahend. Step 1. Borrow 1 from 8 and change to fraction equal to 1 by using the same denominator 3. Then add fraction 1 third. We have now 7 and 3 thirds plus 1 third equals 7 and 4 thirds. Subtract it now to 5 and 1 half. Step 2. Subtract 7 and 4 thirds minus 5 and 1 half by using the butterfly or cross multiplication method. Multiply the denominators. 2 times 3 equals 6. 6 is their common denominator. Copy first the whole numbers. Step 3. Cross multiply the first numerator by the second denominator. 4 times 2 equals 8. Also, Cross multiply the first denominator by the second numerator. 3 times 1 equals 3. Step 4. Subtract the whole numbers. 7 minus 5 equals 2. Subtract also the numerators. 8 minus 3 equals 5. And copy the common denominator, 6. So, we have 2 and 5, 6. Is it already in lowest term? Yes, therefore, 8 and 1 third minus 5 and 1 half equals 2 and 5 6. I hope that you understand the use of butterfly or cross multiplication method in subtracting simple fractions or mixed numbers without or with regrouping. You have now the choice if what method you are going to use. The standard way of subtracting fractions or the butterfly or cross multiplication method. The decision is yours. Matry nga! Subtract 2 and 1 fourth from 7 and 2 thirds using the butterfly or cross multiplication method. Step 1. 7 and 2 thirds minus 2 and 1 fourth. Multiply the denominators 3 times 4 equals 12. 12 is the common denominator. Copy the whole numbers, 5 and 2. Step 2. Cross multiply the first numerator by the second denominator. 2 times 4 equals 8. Also, cross multiply the first denominator by the second numerator. 3 times 1 equals 3. Step 3. Subtract first the whole numbers. 7 minus 2 equals 5. Next, subtract the numerators. 8 minus 3 equals 5. And copy the common denominator, 12. We have 5 and 5 twelfths. Is it already in lowest term? Yes. Therefore, our final answer is 5 and 5 twelfths. We have the steps to follow and different methods to use. And I hope you will always matandaan!
Here are the standard way of subtracting fractions. If the given are similar fractions, subtract the numerators and copy the common denominator. Reduce to lowest term if possible. If the given are the similar fractions, change first to similar fractions by finding the least common denominator or LCD or using butterfly or cross multiplication method. Then, subtract the whole numbers if the given are mixed numbers. After that, subtract the numerators and copy the common denominator. Finally, reduce to lowest term if possible. Now, if you are going to subtract fractions with regrouping, borrow 1 from the whole number and rename to fraction equal to 1 by using the same denominator. Then, follow the usual way of subtracting fractions or the butterfly or cross multiplication method. Again, prove yourself! Get ready! It's Mathematics time! Do not worry, I will help you to find the final answer by completing the solution. I will give you 5 seconds to think of the final answer. Let's start! Now, let us check your answers. Number 1. In subtracting similar fractions, just subtract the numerators and copy the common denominator. 7 minus 5 equals 2 and copy 8. Is 2 eighths already a lowest term? No. What is the GCF of 2 and 8? Yes, by dividing both by 2, our final answer is 1 fourth. Number 2. In subtracting dissimilar fractions, let us first change it to similar fractions by getting their equivalent fractions through the least common denominator or LCD. The LCD of 6 and 4 is 12. Divide the LCD by the given denominators and multiply by the given numerators. 12 divided by 6 times 7 equals 14. 12 divided by 4 times 3 equals 9. We have now 14 twelfths minus 9 twelfths. Subtract the numerators. 14 minus 9 equals 5. And copy the common denominator, 12. We have 5 twelfths. Is 5 twelfths already a lowest term? Yes, our final answer is 5 twelfths. Number 3. This time, we are subtracting mixed numbers and similar fractions. We subtract first the whole numbers. 7 minus 4 equals 3. Next, subtract the numerators. 8 minus 5 equals 3 and copy the common denominator, 9. So, we have 3 and 3 ninths. Is it already a lowest term? No, because 3 and 9 still can be divided by their greatest common factor or GCF, 3. Therefore, our final answer is 3 and 1 third. Number 4. In subtracting mixed numbers, with the similar fractions, let us first change it to similar fractions 
by getting their equivalent fractions through the LCD. What is the LCD of 7 and 3? Yes, it is 21. Divide the LCD by the given denominator and multiply by the given numerator. 21 divided by 7 times 5 equals 15. 21 divided by 3 times 2 equals 14. We have 10 and 15 twenty-firsts minus 5 and 14 twenty-firsts. Subtract the whole numbers. 10 minus 5 equals 5. And the numerators 15 minus 14 equals 1. Then, copy the common denominator 21. So, we have 5 and 1 twenty-first. Is it already a lowest term? Definitely, yes. Therefore, our final answer is 5 and 1 twenty-first. Number 5. In this case, fractional parts cannot be subtracted because minuend is smaller than subtrahend. So, we will apply regrouping. Borrow 1 from 8 and make it 7 and 8 eighths plus 5 eighths equals 7 and 13 eighths minus 5 and 3 fourths. Since they are dissimilar fractions, change it to similar by getting their least common denominator or LCD. 8 is the LCD of 8 and 4. Divide the LCD by the given denominators and multiply by the given numerators. 8 divided by 8 times 13 equals 13. Next time, if the LCD and given denominator are the same, just copy the numerator. Next, 8 divided by 4 times 3 equals 6. Copy the whole numbers. So we have 7 and 13 eighths minus 5 and 6 eighths. Subtract first the whole numbers. 7 minus 5 equals 2. Then subtract the numerators. 13 minus 6 equals 7. And copy the common denominator, 8. So we have 2 and 7 eighths. Is it already a lowest term? Yes. Therefore, our final answer is 2 and 7 eighths. Natapos na naman ang ating aralin. Naway kayo'y may natutuwan sa ating mga tinalakay. Muli ako ang inyong Maestro Olaso na nagsasabing ugaliing manood at makinig upang maging matinik sa mathematics. Music